match in three, two, one, go. Quick start from 5062A, knocking all, or sorry, knocking all the stars over from that fence crossbar there. Meanwhile, one, two, three, four stars in autonomous dropped out of the field from the blue alliance. So those will all be returned to the near zone for one point apiece. The autonomous bonus will go to Red Alliance gets the advantage in three, two, one, go. So that autonomous bonus is a four point advantage. That could make a big difference in the elimination tournament here. All it takes is one point to win it over the other match or over the other alliance. Just a one point difference. Could make or break these teams. Of course, with every star tossed over, you have at least a two point swing. A near zone to near zone is one point taken away from your score and added to the opposing alliance's score. Stars just coming over the fence, it's shooting stars, raining stars. It's like a meteor shower out here, folks. One minute and 10 seconds left in the match, and we go cube for cube now. Far zone for both cubes, that's four points apiece. 536C goes over. That's a bad turn of luck, they were tipping over 5062A, was throwing a cube over already, just happened to fall right where they didn't want it to. They hit him where it counts, and they're down for the count. 47 seconds left in the match now. And now we're met by defense from the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance trying to get four stars left over. Only one goes over successfully. 56-2A trying their best. Meanwhile, 365X dumps over a few stars as well. It's still going to be close, unfortunately. A bad ending for blue with that tip may cause or may sign off their fates. 14 seconds left now in the match. Red seems to have a healthy advantage. Number two alliance versus our number seven alliance. And can we get the first high hang of the eliminations? We can. 365x tagging on 12 points. If that's the high, if that's a high hang, and it counts. 12 points onto 